where there's three other absolute killers in that event, but that's going to be some race. 12 months from now in Paris, it's going to be some show. Having crowds back at an Olympic Games after Tokyo, the COVID pandemic. So, last event of the night, the mixed medley relay. Yep, this is it. Germany will be in eight. We've seen Greece go through in zero. Macrigianis, Asbugalis, Damasiotti, and Calagieri in eighth for Germany. Jan, Schulze, Schulrath, and Finger. Finger is going last. So they will uh, wrap up with a woman. Hungary in lane one. Yajo, Bekezi, Ugrai and Bona. That looks like man, man, woman, woman. Next up for the Netherlands. Hosper, De Groot, Gela and Niewold for the Netherlands. Lane two for Poland, Pisorska, Kalasowski, Mieski and Fedkiewicz. Next up for France, Cousson, Vernez, Racingcourt and Mazalier. They're in lane six, France. In lane three, Adam Butler, McInnes and Davis. So they look like they're going man, man, woman, woman. That is Great Britain in three. Lane five is Israel, Marana, Polonski, Aeon and Spitz for Israel. And in lane four, having gone this morning with woman, woman, man, man, way down and then they were way up. It is in lane four, the United States of America. The mixed four by 100 meters medley. Yeah, the U.S. has switched out a lot of those swimmers for some faster ones, so expect them to be well clear for the commemorative gold. But then the fight will be on between the rest. Israel, Great Britain, France, Poland, all very, very close this morning. Netherlands too, right in the mix. So keep an eye out for who's going to put males or females first. Looks to be actually quite a heavy female. Kind of a mix, actually. So the traditional way to do it, I was saying this morning, is male, male, female, female, but you can mix it up. And the Americans famously this morning were female, female, male, male, and stormed home to win their heat by miles in the end. So we'll keep an eye out for the changing order. So it'll be Greece in zero male, Hungary one male, Poland two female, Great Britain three male, USA four male. Uh, female actually, female, female, male, male, they'll go. Five Israel male. Six France female, seven Netherlands female, eight Germany male. Hope you're following that. Mixed four by 100 meters medley relay. So away we go, Greece in zero, Hungary one, Poland two, Great Britain three, USA four, Israel five, France six, Netherlands seven, and Germany eight. So this is going to be really spread out and a good start in lane three for Jonathan Adam of Great Britain in three, in five, Adam Marana of Israel, and in eight, Cornelius Jan of Germany. So turning at 50, it's uh, Great Britain one, Greece two, Hungary three. That's Germany so fast four. now, that's so fast for Adam, 25-3. Crazy high stroke rate he had on that. Look at how fast his arms are moving, that. Maybe might be a 55-56 stroke rate. Same in lane number five. At Adam Mariano of Israel flying down. Adam struggling to hold on, but expect the lead to change a number of times. Jonathan Adam, 53, 45. What a great swim that was from him under the Olympic A standard for him. So, male, male on the front now. So, expect the lead not to overly change. But watch out for the Americans. They've actually put a male on the breaststroke, so they've switched it up from this morning as well. Yeah, Great Britain, Israel, Greece was the one, two, three at the uh, 100 mark and at 150 
going strongly through in the breaststroke. Gregory Butler still leading 121.44, just about 0.8 clear of Israel and Ron Poloski in second, third, Aspergalis of Greece, fourth is Nella Schultz of Germany, and fifth is Esther Bekezi of Hungary in fifth spot as we head for halfway. And right now, leading in three, Great Britain, Israel right alongside in lane five in second spot. And a long way back in third will be Greece in lane zero. Halfway yeah, GB and Israel clear. And they're gonna be first and second at the halfway point. But the, the US have Gabriel Jett, our winner in the men's hundred flag going for them. Very tight takeover for Jett think right on the money but expect him to catch up these girls and probably pass them as it goes in to the last 50 which is or the last 100 which is going to be an all-female battle out on the freestyle for the first second third and fourth in this event and the USA took over in fourth place, only fourth place. They weren't that far behind. It's still Britain who lead through Kiana McGuinness with 150 to go. In second is Hayon for Israel. Now Gabriel Jett is up in third place for the United States. Already a gold medal tonight. Demis in fourth place for Greece. And in fifth is Miaski for Poland. But now the big fight back is coming back for the United States. It's still Great Britain holding on in third spot. It's the United States up in second place now. And in third, it looks to be Poland in lane two. But as they turn over the final change over to the United States who are going to lead, going into the freestyle with 100 to go, it's the USA who lead by just about a second over. A great Britain in second place, Poland in third spot, fourth is Israel, fifth now is Greece. And it looks like American domination from here on in. It's Grace Cooper to bring them home. Yes, and forget about it. The US is going to be gone. I doubt they're going to be caught. Poland are right in the mix with GB for the European gold and silver. Don't forget Israel up in five. I don't think they're going to have enough for the gold. It's going to be between the Brits and the Poles to take the European. But I tell you what, the Polish trimmer is absolutely flying. Federetskish is moving. But forget, the US are in first. USA, Poland, Great Britain, one, two, three. And they are all women bringing them home in the top four, even in uh, lane five. Israel in uh, fourth place, but it's going to be the United States who are going to take the honors here. The USA win it. Poland take the European gold. Great Britain, the European silver. And the European bronze goes to the Netherlands as Sean Newald brings them home. United States taking the race by 0.69 but Poland are the European champions, head of Great Britain and the Netherlands. Grace Cooper had enough for the US. Poland get the golds. Yeah, no, it looks like Israel actually have got the, it, it did come up, Will, that the Netherlands had got European uh, bronze, but I think yeah, Israel has actually changed. snuck in, did it? Yeah, it has changed. Spitzer's time didn't come up at first. Now it has, 3.49. So they do get the bronze and the Netherlands get knocked down into a uh, fourth spot on a European basis. United States take the ceremonial gold medals, but it is European Championship gold going Poland's way. Just waiting for confirmation. Which means something has happened along the way if the results haven't come up on yeah. your screens now. So they are reviewing something. You see all those relay takeovers. So many of them in a race. You know, and you have to wait until the swimmer in front touches before you go, if you go early. You get disqualified, so just waiting for confirmation here as it stands. The US take the commemorative gold from Poland, from GB, from Israel. Israel, I saw, coached by David Marsh, the legendary US swimmer, one of the greatest coaches of all time. Coaching the Israeli team, saw him in the hotel earlier on today. But a nervy wait now. Eh? Yeah, because of this stage. Something has to be up, Will. What do you reckon? Yep, absolutely. The reviews will be ongoing, and that's why we don't have a ratified result. United States taking the ceremonial gold for now. Was there anything that looked very, very tight to you? Uh, the U Jets takeover looked tight, but that was the only one, the US fly swimmer. But, like, I mean, that's the only one I noticed, but it's hard to... Which obviously doesn't know. affect the, uh, the actual result. Poland with the European gold. But they'll hit it, won't they, if they get disqualified? Well, absolutely, they don't get the ceremonial medals, which means there's a few more green medals that are going a begging. I know a few of the swimmers, when they were uh, doing videos this morning, were saying, ah, now, how do we get these? Well, as if they don't know. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's been a great day one of swimming. Only three days of this. 
the competition. So a lot of races we brought you tonight flew through them. It was a great atmosphere here, wasn't yeah, it? Will? Yeah, excellent. Very tight championship. What do you make of that? The structure, it's yeah, uh, different. Usually it's longer, six, seven, eight days sometimes for these kind of competitions, but three days. And they've gone with a slightly different approach, more of almost a laid back kind of approach, hasn't it, been to racing? So we're still waiting for confirmation. All the swimmers are just waiting on the side. You can see on your screen there, just hanging about. Now, remember, in one of the semi final heats, we did have a disqualification, but it was from actually one of the teams that had finished in last place. So it may be that same scenario. Wait and see. It's rare for it to take And waiting long, is what we're doing. Well, so in terms of the, uh, the results board here, that's uh, on display to everybody, nothing has changed. Uh, it has gone off our, uh, our own results system. So we can't give you any. Oh, France and Hungary have both been disqualified. France and Hungary disqualified. So Poland, Great Britain, Israel remain the European one, two, three. The United States get the ceremonial golds. It is Poland, Great Britain, Israel, gold, silver and bronze for Europe. The Netherlands in fourth.